Yeah, pretty much. That scope can see just about anything. So actually, you should let me follow you. He uh, takes his cowboy hat off. He says, come on inside for a minute. You go around back. we got a window you can talk through. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He puts his coat and hat on the peg, and you see that he is decked out. He has got like the Rambo thing going, except on the Rambo thing he has shrunkens that look like high texture shrunkens. Like these things don't, they're metal, but then the center of them has some sort of technological bit inside of them. Nice. And then he's got, um, he's got a compound bow strapped to his back. <laughs> he's got a vibro knife right here, and he's got a laser rifle hanging off of him. Plus, when you look at his right arm, you notice his right arm has scars, as if something tried to tear off the arm. Mm -hmm. He brings you all to the back end. It's, it's a relatively nice place. I mean, the outside's pretty screwed up, but the inside's really nicely done. You know, polished wood and everything. I'm going to be out back with him, so I want to walk through there in my power suit. Okay. He opens uh, the back window, which is like one of those big, like, bay. double bay window deals. And he sits down at the desk. He says, what we can do is the best time to fight this thing is during the day. Because at least then we can see what it's affecting. At night, I've not seen anybody be able to do anything. So there has been a couple people who have managed to chase it off. But it keeps coming back. No one actually manages to hurt this thing. Well, I guess I can't see it. Um, we got some, got some high tech scopes here. We could probably at least try and figure out if it's got some kind of heat signature going. I want to see it, the areas it's been attacked. Uh, the entire he, town. Yeah. He pulls out a map, and you literally see there are red marks all over the map. Everywhere. They're all right. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're just literally everywhere. Uh, and I want to do uh, you can't damage the monster. How do you chase it away exactly? You didn't oh, they've been able to do that. I'm going to do Well, I, I myself witnessed one incident. They managed to knock the creature into a building and it just disappeared. I don't know where it went, but it stopped attacking. And he actually points out on the map what building it was and pretty much describes how the building got its wall caved in from the impact. I know it's big. It's really big. It's as, at least as big as a leather wing, but it makes no sense because leather wings can't do this. I'm going to do a land map, Dave, see if I can uh, get a sense from the map of where this thing might be coming from. Is that possible? You can try. All right, I remember we did this with the uh, beast thing the other time, so. Uh, seven. You look over the map, and you really, really do get a lot of detail from the map. You manage to kind of commit to memory the entire town. But um, you just don't see any rhyme or reason to it. There, nothing makes sense about where it's striking. It seems to be just striking at random points. The, the dates where it's struck have, make no sense. It's, not, it's as if, you know, every time it's coming from a different direction. How big is the map? Ah, uh, that's about a good-sized town, maybe about as big as... Like, so all small. it has is the town? Yeah. Do you have a local area map? Yes, I do. He brings out a, another map for you to look at. Okay. Judging uh, by this thing's size and what you're saying, let's see if we can find a possible area where this thing could probably nest. Uh, he's got the war monster, so yeah. we can at least get... Uh, we know, like, it's general habitats, like if it resides on mountains or whatever. Yeah, so, well, no, he know, you know everything that needs yeah, to be exactly. known about the I'm saying he knows that's it, if so this is I don't have to do a okay. secondary role. But where does I'm a saying we're ring combining win. a land wings are, with a... We already did. We, we got his. Uh, I'm yeah. 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 No, I, I'm sure that I have land having you guys. I know. I do, too. It's just I'm just saying better. You can do a roll too. I didn't realize you had my map. I thought you did. Yeah, me too. Oh, okay. Let's all do it. Where do they live? Um, I got a 14 on that. Canning cliffs, peaks, nice. and butts, and various other mountainous areas. All right, okay. so we got it. Got it. 
All right, uh, we made our land nav rules. But they may fly hundreds of miles to hunt. Wow. Good motherfucker. Ouch. So this thing could be nesting somewhere hundreds of miles from here. Invisible. Invisible. Yes, but yeah. Predator, what the hell is making it invisible? Do you have some kind of war magic or something that might do Could that? I use war magic? Do you have it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, if you got war magic, you can use it. Use it. Ugh, 96. <laughs> that thing may be mighty cool. <laughs> there is a strong possibility of it being what magical. Roll me a perception, everybody. Jesus. Uh, the seven. Nine. Just roll. Yeah, you got it. Thirteen. No. What'd you get? Nice. Five. You hear a scream outside. Just him, or? Everybody, come with me. There's somebody outside. Let's roll. You are outside, so. Oh, yeah, the inside. <laughs> Jake yeah. runs out the front door as you all follow him. We're You're heading towards the screen? Yes. Which okay. Is the screen? Jump in the it's somewhere out on the main street. You feel a gushing wind. From what direction? D just generally coming down the street. From like just from that general direction. And it keeps like it's like it it'll blow and then it'll stop. It'll blow and then it'll stop. It'll blow like and it'll stop. Like a flapping. Feels like yes. flapping wings. And you you Optic you thing. look up and you see a woman up in the air screaming. Where is her general direction? She's up in the air. <laughs> her. Where right, right up the street, right, like up the main street, and she's going up. And you're using your optic band. Straight yes. up. Optic band has what on it again? Thermal. I don't know. I didn't look it up. Yeah, I'm gonna look. It's in your book. Optic band under common gear. I'm gonna look through my All scope right, too. You're gonna look through your scope. What are you using? Uh, let's see. Uh, yeah. I'm thinking infrared. <laughs> infrared. <laughs> you see the shape of a leather wing. A very large ass leather wing. <laughs> it's big. <laughs> no shit, oh, sure. <laughs> Everyone, roll initiative. Oh, goody. Hey, uh, am I going to be able to see my Samus? Do you? What kind of sensors do you have? Uh, dude, standard coalition Samus, which you have not provided. The details. Uh, uh, I didn't go on initiative though. Nine, eight, nine, eight, Fifteen, motherfuckers. Remember, it's best to go clockwise. Yeah, I got time. So one of you guys hopefully got better. I got 14. Uh, no, 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 no. 14. Oh, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got a 20. Not natural. Standard. Standard? Standard. So does that include infrared? It probably includes uh, certain, like, a telescope. Imaging? Network? Infrared? Oh, ultraviolet. Polarization. Huh? Uh, those are my sensory systems. Yeah, it just says standard, so I don't know exactly what standard would mean. Um, I'm gonna say can that. Can I look up? Can I look up the coalition and see if it specifies that in there? Yeah, you can. I've got my PDFs. Yeah. You want to pause while we look that up? Yeah. All right. Look up the Samus on there and see what it means by standard. Right, I'm right. thinking standard is not gonna include all that stuff. Uh, I'm sure it wouldn't include everything like telescopic and all that, but yeah. I'm, I'm sure, thinking that's I'm what sure they would have like some kind of infrared for night vision stuff. or a thermal. Okay, but let's see. Samus, what'd you get? Who? Initial. 15. 15. Grapple. I got a 20, not natural. With my bonuses. Okay. Cyber Knight. 10. 14. 14. But you're not in your um, suit. Right. Yeah, he is. No, no, I wanted to. Oh, yeah, that's right. He did. Six. How'd you do that? <laughs> Ouch. Six. That's with bonuses. Ouch. Oh, my God. Ow, indeed. You're a little freaked out looking at this thing. <laughs> hey, um, what Samus should I look up, Jess? The regular. All right. The old Samus. Old style Death's Head Samus. Yes, old style Death Head. Roger, Roger. Shut up. Here we go. Um, 
Well, Jake's not far behind me in the initiative. <laughs> What's your? Uh, hold on, never mind. Oh, we're just gonna go around. Okay. Start with you. Okay. Twenty round. I forgot about that. What? I forgot about the going round part. <laughs> so starting with you, we go around the table. Okay. Yeah, I think it's a good time to use. Pictures. Yeah. Okay. Let me draw out the uh, Yep. You all came out of this building. Everyone did. So, yes. Samus Boy and uh, you, you would have been like coming out here. Oh. Let's see, we're there. So, I think you're first. You all would have come out here. Litter Boy, you need to just Jump spend your turn. Head. Yeah, you're going for your suit. Yeah. You didn't get a miniature, did you? No. This is you. Fine. Uh, and then we're going to say that Jake or whatever his name is. Yeah. You know, this is Jake. He's not black, but still. It's very vague, isn't it? It doesn't even mention any sensor equipment. Standard, I'm going to say, is not going to include that, but I will look that up later. Uh, but. I'm going to keep looking at it. It's, if you find something that says otherwise. Uh, destroying head of power armor will eliminate all forms of optic enhancement and sensory systems. The so only thing some thing. optic enhancement. I think it's mainly radar and long range sensors. Basic idea. Nothing with like thermals or anything like that. Um, damn you, palladium. <laughs> I'm thinking it's just you have telescopic vision. That's it. Yeah, that actually sounds about right to me. We'll look up later. I'm kind of a military folks. Okay, so Grackle, you are up. Where is it? It is flapping with the woman in its claws. Yeah, that's a good one. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. We need something big. Something large. Use the mouse. No, actually, this thing is huge. So let me put it to you this way. Um, this is its body. It's not its wings. Jesus. And it's up in the air above the buildings. <laughs> What's the range? There's lots of long range say? things I can't the range? really get to. Well, it should mention how could, many feet of chain there are. I, mean, I guess I could shoot it. Just I'd say it's at the less than how much. <laughs> no. <laughs> Bad influence. Shoot just above the. You have no. Well, anyways, I'm going to activate my six cents. Just in case. Okay, I'm going to say it's 20 feet. Make a note of that. Are you going to try and. Are you going to try and hog tie it? We can't see this thing. This is a good boy. Right. Oh, but uh, what's I got those sensors in the other boy? You got thermals? Yeah, thermal, ultraviolet. Yeah, you uh, can see it if you get thermals. Okay, <laughs> so that specifies it. Okay. Okay. What? what? His suit specifies, mine doesn't. <laughs> it's a glitter boy. Yep. Well, it needs more than my. Oh, look at the seven. Wait a second. I've got the eye thing. About the, the optic band? Yeah, I've got the optic band. Jack the optic band into your si sensors. All right. There, there you go. You can see it. There we go. Well, what's the speed? Thing? Huh? What's the speed? What's your speed? I mean, what's... Every five points of speed gets you a point of movement. 
I have a movement of two. But what's, what's well, I have a fourteen. One? You have a fourteen. Yeah, you so that's a two. Two. You're big and bulky. Arr! 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 I'm just slow. Maybe you need to invest in running. Yeah, I do. Oh, wow. oh no, my, no, sorry, my speed. So I can move two and a half feet. Yeah, one. One square. Now, here's the thing. What's your physical strength? PS is 33. Okay, move two and go whoosh. Will that be enough range, though? No, it will not. Two and a half, technically. So, these are... Oh, right. Each square is about like. I, yeah, if I run, I can't attack. I'd say I don't actually make the squares like five foot squares or anything like that. I say that because you're actually bigger than that too. So I'd say you can hit it. Okay. Yeah. Here's what I'm doing. Actually, you know what? Considering your size, yes. You move two squares since you're using that small mod. So that's two squares for you. Okay. Because your steps are bigger. Okay, so for this model, I'll use two, two squares for one. Gotcha. Yeah. All right. Can you get a suitable dreadnought size one? Where is the... Yes, yes, I'll bring the dreadnought. Where's the woman? The woman is kicking and screaming in its claws. In its claws. Thank you. Yes. Where is this that? Is... Under its game. body. It's a pterodactyl. Give me some time. <laughs> Under its body. Here it is. Here's where she is. Okay, I'm aiming above her, trying to call shot. Call shot. Epic point. You're a bastard. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> oh God, I just five. Three D six, two D C. Okay, are you attempting to entangle? Yes, I am. Okay. And I get a plus two. Entanglement, huh? Going, plus the pterodactyl's two. gonna fall on top of the woman and kill her. Oh no. <laughs> okay. Go for it. Go for the head. Huh? No, I'm releasing her, and I'm gonna climb up on this thing and start beating. So the wait, shit out of you it. you entangle it, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, you do the damage that it does to it. Three six. And that was a cold shot to the what? Leg. The leg? That's the leg. She had it. I'm getting it to drop her so we can wail on it. Hind legs, okay. Fire freely without hitting the civilian. Okay. Hind legs. Fire it's like its head or something. Yeah, exactly. Okay, this is a lot different. Six, six. Ooh, max damage! So that's how much? Eighteen. Eighteen, 18 double. Eighteen double. Not bad. So that's eighteen. What's that double? Thirty-six. Thirty-six NPC. Thirty-six. Yeah. You, you all basically. Do I saw off its legs? Glitter boy, and the same as pilot. You're fine. You two hear a loud screech. Makes you grab your ears. Ooh. You two. Even in the armor. Yeah. Okay. Oh wait, you're in the EVA. No, you know. You hear the loud screech. Yeah. Of course, you were expecting it. <laughs> I screech back. <sighs> Okay. Actually, I have to do that when I do it. It's epic. It drops the woman. Ah! <laughs> she drops a good ten feet to the ground. Yeah, she'll live. <laughs> You're up. All right. Party time. I gave you a I'm target. Yeah, I know a target. Um, I'm gonna do uh, make a dance. Oh, I'm gonna use my arm-mounted short-range lasers because I figured, you know, uh, like fragmentation grenades and then small towns and such. Yeah. It, Probably it's not a great idea. Hmm. Don't we know a Don't use the high explosives in the town. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we know some of Gen Con. Yeah. Alright, uh, I'm going to be doing a hold on, blast. Hold on, hold on. 